good day. This is Sedlo with another DCS Mission Editor tutorial. With the latest release of DCS Open Beta, there is a new uh, function called Recovery Tanker. And what that allows you to do is easily set up a tanker which will orbit overhead the aircraft carrier and follow it along as it moves across the ocean. Now, um, Previously, you'd have to do a lot of weird waypoints and estimate where the carrier is to make an approximation of this, or you would have had to use Moose, which has the recovery tanker script. Uh, now you can do it without using Moose and do it very easily right from the ME. So let's see how it goes. Uh, let's select a tanker. We'll go an S3 tanker. And where this recovery tanker lies is in your advanced waypoint actions. We'll add under perform task down at the bottom recovery tanker we'll give it a name now under group we're going to select the carrier battle group that we had put down previously this is the group name and we'll give it an altitude we'll give it a speed 6000 feet 267 knots will give you about 240 to 250 knots of uh, indicated airspeed. Give it a stop condition. I usually give it one uh, with a flag when my mission is over. I always use flag 999, so there we go. And uh, let's save it and fly it, and we'll show you how it works. Okay, here we are in game. You can see the aircraft is descending down to 6,000 feet and will accelerate up to about 240 knots. Let's just uh, reduce the noise of that just a little bit for you. I'll accelerate the time as well. You can see the uh, tanker aircraft is approaching the carrier and will start its orbit shortly. There it is. So it's going to cut in front and establish the orbit. And you'll see it'll do a nice big long racetrack. I'm estimating probably about 10 miles. Um, in length. Easy peasy. Um, works really well and it'll really help you uh, make your missions around the carrier a lot more realistic and a lot more easy to do. Okay, thanks. Hope you learned a lot today. Uh, take care. See you next time.